finished the back day, back and arm day. Uh, not not my brightest performance, but it's all good. Um, we showed up. That's what matters. Now I have to get some gas. Hold up, hold up. If you guys can see, I am almost uh, empty, and I don't want to get stranded here and miss my flight. Actually, I probably wouldn't miss my flight, but that would just delay a lot of things, and that would make traveling more stressful than it already is stressful so but yeah um gotta go home pack my flight i got a notification saying there may be a delay um due to the weather so i really hope my flight doesn't get delayed or canceled that would suck um but i mean i can't really do anything about it so gonna go home pack get that figured out probably upload the previous youtube video vlog too and then go to the airport so I'll see you guys at home or at the airport whenever I decide to pick up the camera. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna make this quick, but I just finished my morning devotions in Matthew 3, and there's a lot, but I gotta be quick with this. Um, I will be leaving my hotel very shortly. So um, yeah, chapter one, verse three, fulfills a prophecy. So basically, um, in Isaiah, it said, uh, the voice of the one crying in the wilderness and then john um, was preaching the wilderness of judea so that that's the reference there and then at the end of matthew 3 uh, verse 15 but jesus answered him let it be so for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness then he consented and when jesus was baptized immediately he went up from the water and behold the heavens were opened to him and he saw the spirit of god descending like a dove and coming to rest on him so this is like basically either the fulfillment or representation of jesus becoming our mediator we failed as humans right um you know we sinned and so we had to have someone intercede for us which is jesus the son of god so that we can inherit a relationship inherit the kingdom of god without him it wouldn't be possible and so this is really a covenant of grace we know we don't deserve this and it's fitting that a human being was baptized in jesus right so it just it's the ultimate representation of humbleness in a way too um and so sometimes like it's so hard for us to be selfless and even humble ourselves in cer certain certain circumstances but like man jesus did time after time after again it's like come on guys like let's be let's be more selfless and 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 more humble but that's a quick little summary i could go deeper but i don't have time um I'm going to go check out and I'll see you guys either at the Lyceum gym or in Mr. Eubanks car. So, yeah. I'm going to say what's up for the vlog. What's up, man? Yes, sir. We in Baltimore. Yeah, boy. Oops. You probably never, never met Troy. Troy, no. He's a good guy. He's one of the original OGs. So, what's like, so it started in your basement, right? Yeah. You see him? And then, what was like the next step? Was it like my basement was uh, completely well here? So last, this thing started out with me doing everything in my basement. So we said, hey, maybe we should make some shirts. So each night, I went and bought a press, and I'd go down there every night and I'd press shirts to order. So whoever ordered a shirt got a shirt delivered, shipped out the next day. I was very, I'm very funny about that. I always, even now with Elysium. We do a drop. Everything is shipped out within two to three days, no matter what. If yeah, I noticed that. If yeah. we're there all night, dude, it don't matter. I mean, we do whatever we have to do to get stuff out fast. I'm funny about that. Same thing with emails. I answer drawer to emails, but uh, but yeah. So it started in my basement and uh, it got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then um, Black Friday a year ago, Black Friday, my house was. My garage was packed with clothes, my living room had clothes, my dining room had clothes, my basement was packed, we filled out of my basement. I mean, it was, my neighbors are like, why is all this stuff coming to your house? <laughs> yeah. Just, it got to be too much. Yeah, yeah. Do you blog a lot? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm starting to. I shouldn't say yeah. So is it live right now? Oh, well, this is YouTube, so. Oh, okay. 
I'm gonna make a YouTube video. I've been trying to vlog as much as I can this year. Um, as like I've grown the Instagram, TikTok's coming along, but I really wanna how emphasize often, YouTube. How often are you on YouTube? Um, well, it was my goal to post once a week, and this yeah, year, yeah. it, it takes time. It's, I know. it's not easy. I mean, you do all your editing and everything. Yeah. And it does take time to do it, but once a week's not gonna. It's exciting. Once a week's not gonna cut it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why, like, eventually, like, yeah, like two to three at least. Um, but for right now, like where I'm at, I can only do once, once, once a week. But, yeah, that's understandable. But it isn't like my income, you know. Like yeah, I do no, coaching. No, no. And stuff, you'll, I mean, so. you'll you'll get you'll get more involved in it. As yeah, well. yeah. Vlogging uh, and doing vlogs on YouTube is probably a great idea. You're already doing that. So just stay focused, man. Mm -hmm. I always tell everybody, stay on the straight and narrow. I also like just the personal aspect of YouTube, like, because, yeah. like, again, I'm a Christian, so I like, you know, spreading the word and yeah, sure. being just personal, and I feel like people really value, you know, if someone's authentic, and you can show that through YouTube, and Instagram and TikTok, you can, you know, to an extent, but it's not as much as you can YouTube. You don't, you don't realize how many people you can touch in this industry. Yeah. Seriously. You can you can do you can you can do so much good with it if you really want to. Mm -hmm. But you can touch a lot of lives. And you never know what somebody's going through. Now I, I always and you probably heard this before, but if not, I'm gonna tell you. But I always told Alex growing up, when you're in line at the grocery store or any store, always acknowledge the person in front of you, the person behind you. You know why? You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they're going through, bro. Those mm -hmm. people might be thinking about, you know, no one cares about me, nobody loves me, I'm mm -hmm. unnoticed, you know, suicidal thoughts, all kinds of crazy stuff. And one person acknowledging them, showing that they care about them, can change the trajectory of the rest of their life. No, yeah. My Seriously. mom tells you that too. Dude, I'm, I'm dead, dead up. I mean, I, I always told Alex that, and and I've always done it myself. I always talk to people in love, always. Alex first started like making content. Were you like very supportive of it, supportive of it, or were you kind of hesitant? I didn't understand it, to be honest with you. So you know, I was, I was like, okay, whatever. But then when he wanted to <clears throat> drop out of college, I was like, have you lost your mind? And uh, he said he really wanted to do it. So you know, as his father, I said, well, if that's something you really want to do, and you're going to give it your all, I'll support you. Yeah. You can always go back to college. Yeah. You know, it don't work out. Yeah. And, uh, let's say it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> Just a little bit. You've met Alex before, right? I have not. No. You've never met him? Never met him, never messaged him. For real? I don't think he knows who I am. <laughs> he follows you. No, he doesn't. Didn't he follow you? No. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> change that yeah not nah, it's kind of funny because i'll get clowned on it they're like you're his athlete and he doesn't even follow you <laughs> i'm sure about that man i'm i'm not a hundred but i'm I like don't think you're right, right, really? yeah. i don't think you're right yeah i could be wrong i feel like i would know because like gotta fix that the notification would pop up well you're gonna have a good time I'm, I'm not really worried about it. <laughs> I've always people always kind of made a joke, of, made jokes yeah. about it, but I was like, it'll happen in God's time. Yeah, 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 so. yeah. All right, first time in the uh, Elysium warehouse. This is where all all y'all's orders come from. Oh yo. I always see this on the YouTube video, but it's kind of 
crazy. See this in person? Oh, it was like the photo shoots? Yeah. 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 It's pretty tight. Yeah. When are you guys going to ha uh, have athletes uh, pose and model? Well, probably be coming pretty soon. Working on some things. <laughs> but I like that machine a lot. Uh, dips, man. Dips is my thing. Do you usually work out in the morning or whatever? whenever? I'm Anthony Frosty, and this is my third job. Chest, I mean, I like chest. chest. You're a Eubank. <laughs> chest guy. You got it, honest. Where did he get his, you, know, you have any idea where he got his chest genetics from? Was it just, is it from you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost 60 years old, bro. I know, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if they... Alright, y'all, we in the Elysium gym at, like, midnight. We got Adam. Oh, Adam the vlog. Yeah, let's do a vlog. Yeah. Take your HS and stuff. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. It's late. Yeah. I'm exhausted. Hey, are we actually getting crumbled? Yeah, I think so. That's very hashtag yeah. fitness influencer of us. Yes, Pump might be insane tomorrow. We got Noah. America. It's for YouTube. Yeah, it's good YouTube. Are you guys vlogging? Yeah. Hey, we don't have the equipment like you. Bro, yeah, we're not, uh, we're not uh, as cool as you. I just don't like vlogging. I like vlogging my phone, but like... I want to invest in the camera. I'm just like investing in If you invest in the camera, it'll look a lot better when you step in phones. Make sure you don't give them credit, though. Make sure you get the permission slips in. Alright, y'all. It is the next day. It is indeed the next morning. Hey, I'm up. That's not exactly. Bro's hands. Um, <laughs> we should not be eating anything. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we are back in the hotel. I barely filmed today, and that kind of sucks. But extremely chaotic, and I honestly was just kind of enjoying my time. So there's a possibility I'm going to exile with Merrick and maybe Alex tomorrow so maybe we'll get content but i'm not sure um but it's been it's been a good trip what about you adam it's been one to remember that's the yeah. way to put it yeah he <laughs> lost his luggage hey know. hold on pete the fit shout out the elysium warehouse real quick let me do a little i need you to edit like some music on this stuff i'm gonna look really goofy but <clears throat> treat me like yt yeah Don't now we'll leave this in <laughs> no, just, hold on i like hold on i got it on though hold on i can just be like yeah, shout out to Tim and the team. Yeah, shout bro. out to Tim, bro. Tim got me right. This is like, literally going to be the airport fit. Like, I'm not. This is the airport bro, fit. He drips. I I'm imagine I pull up on this. I'm going to have to go get some, uh, my puffer jacket. Tim said I could have one. So. Puffer jacket's really drip, bro. I love the puffer jacket. I've never owned a puffer jacket. I'm going to have to get one. But, actually, I don't have room in my suitcase, so never mind. I don't either. I don't have room for all. I might give you some of the younger lady if you want it. I'll, this is, I might not have the absolute I'll take it. I'll right take here. it. I'll take it. Okay, so you're going to. All right. You're gonna be here tomorrow, right? Yeah. I'm gonna give you the HS shirts for Alex, Tim, and Steve. Can you give it to them? Yeah. Just say it's from me. I'll be like, yo, this is my brand. I could. Hey, if you wanna vlog it, that'd be dope. If you can vlog I it, I can vlog it. That'd yeah. be dope. You'd be like, hey, I wanted me to give you this. Yeah, I got, say, you, I got you. I got you. I didn't say these exact words. You rewatch the say. The Al, Al, yeah, that words are hard. Adam wanted me to give you this. Just, just know he really appreciates it, everything you've done for him. This is literally the most little, the tiny. The, <laughs> what are the words? Hold on. This is, the, on, least bro, this is emotional, bro. If it wasn't for them, I would definitely not be here. I'm literally across the country. I'm halfway across the country. This isn't the normal life people do after high school, but we're doing it. I'm, I should still be in high school. But bro, bro's here. Bro's <laughs> in Maryland. Bro is in Maryland. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's possible. But hey, man. I'm just following God's plan. Following God's plan. Now you're on. Mm -hmm. It's been good. Amen. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands 
to the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on guys so this will conclude um this video it's been a crazy timeline so the beginning of this video was all the way back end of january middle of january and this clip that i'm making right now is um what middle of february so it's been about a month since yeah since i've last filmed or since the beginning of this video and so i didn't film as much in maryland as i I want to say hope for, but thought I would. But next time I'll be there, or next time that I am there, um, I'll probably film a lot more. I just kind of wanted to get to know, you know, the athletes, Alex, Tim, um, everybody involved instead of just like trying to get constant. But I think we did a good job of that. And hopefully we'll be back out there very soon. Um, thank you guys for the support. Uh, I'm going to be as consistent as I can now because I had a problem with editing and I finally got an SSD it just came in the mail today so I couldn't really edit that much and I lost a lot of content on top of that so it's been very hectic um, but I told myself once I posted this video I would have to stay consistent I have to stay consistent you guys can hold me to it if you don't if you don't see a video for a week unsubscribe I'm telling you right now unsubscribe that'll motivate me but I'm very, very hopeful that I do post um, every week, maybe even multiple times a week. We'll just have to get into groove of it, into the groove of it. But thank you guys for watching this. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a, leave a comment, um, and use code DHARM on all Elysium and EHP Lab products.